We're back. We're back. Yeah. You know Adam Richmond's in the house. I got to full mouth. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, God. That is a sandwich, man. That, that's a man sandwich. That, that is not a... <laughs> that is not a woman's sandwich. I'm just, it's just dawning on me. You said Adam, no wonder Adam Richmond's back, and that's why I have a full mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that in the, in the sexiest of ways. <laughs> Welcome um, to New Orleans. No, exactly. I mean, uh, for the radio audience, again, this guy made uh, a, a sandwich filled with pulled beef, ma- slathered mayonnaise, just like glops of it. And uh, lettuce and tomato, which which is really like, lettuce and tomato looks like it looks like it's being bullied in a schoolyard <laughs> with the rest of the stuff on the sandwich. It, it really does. And then um, and then shrimp. the great thing is, uh, after he puts all the, the beef and everything on, he goes, well, we haven't even got to the shrimp yet. And and, uh, and and then he takes cheese and he takes he takes a, a a burner like a Bunsen burner thing that that looked like you know Richard Pryor's house in the early '80s probably. <laughs> A brulee torch, yeah. And he just, a brulee torch, right? Okay. Well, you make, well, you make creme brulee with your dark yeah, it, right? right? Okay, yeah. So, and he just goes over the cheese. He, 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 he slaps the cheese on the shrimp, then melts it with the, the brulee burner. And, uh, my God, I, I've never seen a better use of fire in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so now, like, how many calories do you think this is? For I mean, uh, I mean, let's just go over it. So you got the mayonnaise. <laughs> You're you really chip, making me count calories yeah, yeah, in New Orleans? I, that's what we're going to do, Adam. All right, I'm gonna cry. I, I mean, I'm thinking for the, the, mayo. the If you just had the mayo and the bread alone, I mean, you're I looking at four thousand, I think. Because <laughs> <laughs> he took like it was like a spackle bucket of mayonnaise that he put on it. It was a bukkake effect, <laughs> for sure. But I, I, you know, that's the thing for me. It's 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 about the shredded lettuce with the mayo because the thing that like you know there are a lot of po' boy shops, but there's few, right. in my opinion, few exceptional ones. The thing is because he gets like the local stuff. The thing I love about the mayo is that if you get good barbecue beef or whatever, the right. juices mix with the mayo, and it makes its own sauce. Yeah. So there is something about that kind of velvety whatever. That's the thing you have to learn about a city like New Orleans. That's the best way to put it. If you're in L.A., Los Angeles is all about fitness. Like in L.A., like on different street corners, they're handing out tennis rackets. You could just get like, <laughs> at any, any you could just you could just get on a treadmill everywhere. <laughs> in New Orleans, at like 7-Elevens have po' boys. You can get a po' boy anywhere. You're right. So, yeah. so you really have to know where to get a good one. Absolutely. It's like a slice of pizza in North Jersey. Unfortunately, and and in Brooklyn, yep. there's so the, the best pizza in the world, but can also get ripped off. So, well, right? I think Justin Justin made a very valid point. You know, and Parkway's legend. You know, their names in this city yeah. like Mahoney's and R and O and Parkway and Domalizzi's uptown and. There's some of the great, great places. There's um, there's shortstop, Russell shortstop in, over in Metairie. And, you know, he made a very good point is that, you know, there's high-end restaurants, there's like low-end restaurants, but the po' boy places get a real cross-section of the sure, city. Sure, yeah. And is, there's nothing like it because you could customize them. It freaked me out how much roast beef. I thought it would be like shrimp and oyster, shrimp and roast beef. And the fact that he combines them, I was like, dude. You get your you get your little Boy Scout sandwich badge for that I, one. I would love to. I would love to get tomorrow. This is what I want to do tomorrow. I want to shoot. Let's shoot a bit. I want to get shirtless and I want to sit in front of. <laughs> I want to sit in front of like mothers or something with, with, on a, on some milk cartons, okay? And I want to be shirtless with this hat on, and I want to eat one of these po' boys, and I just want to scream at people, get out of town! <laughs> You're on Lake Pontchartrain. <laughs> Richmond and Justin Kelly, thanks so much, man. Adam, I love you. I'm a big fan, man. Big fan of yours yeah. as well. An honor, R- real quick, best slice of pizza on the, on the planet you ever had? Best slice anywhere? Yeah, I'm curious. Pino's La Forchetta on 7th Ave in Park Slope is pretty darn good. Okay.